able to control the opening tip. The Chicago Bulls have not trailed in the last 72 minutes, 42 seconds. The last time the Bulls trailed the end of the second quarter back in game two. Rodman with the first shot. And Burkowski with the Hawkins. It is a blocking foul on Hawkins. Well, Michael Jordan was picked up by Hawkins in transition. Hershey did the right thing by staying with him, but... Gary Payton will have the initial defensive responsibility. Michael realizes it now, and usually when he has that smaller man, he will go right into the post. <laughs> Interesting. Ahmad said Michael told him they only need one out of four. Michael told us he's got things he's got to get done. He's ready to take care of business. And here is Jordan. So the Bulls with a, a 2 nothing lead about taking care of business in the post Gary Payton trying to front him George Carl working with the team on trying to front the post up players but Jordan turns to his left shoulder back. difficult for Sean Kemp in that situation oh, Jordan to the hoop and Rodman Sean Kemp's post ability he's getting the ball so deep Harper had to come down to double team and let, let Payton open once again the call against Chicago Offensive foul on Michael Jordan for using the right arm. Jordan trying to post up here. The great ones, Jabbar, Bird, McHale, Magic, they all use that off arm to establish that position. The harder you work early, the easier one. And then an off the ball foul. It's been going that way for the Sonics. Rakowski hit one earlier in the series. Jordan. The second quarter in game two. Jordan shot blocked by Kemp. Sonics 13 and the Bulls 8. Jordan. And that shot attempt waved off. Mike Mathis with the call indicating that Gary Payton extended a knee. And that is his first foul. And Bill, earlier you felt that Dennis Rodman puts his team in jeopardy because throughout a basketball game, he is going to be involved in a lot of altercations with players. He cannot afford to be thrown out of this game. you got to keep him in the chest area. Everything down in the torso is totally legal. Oh, the steal by Burkowski. Coming over to help. Or Chicago at Orlando. Orlando came out down 3-0 in a similar situation. Chicago closed him out at the very end. Jordan went to the left hand as he was met on the switch by Burkowski. And a foul is called. So Burkowski... It is his second. There was some question about Frank Burkowski's status for tonight's game. His flagrant fouls on Sunday, as you see the foul committed uh, by Frank Burkowski. not getting to the offensive glass. They look like they're not concentrating at all. So uncharacteristic. And now 10 of 25 from the field, 40%. Foul on Payton, that is his second. And here comes Hersey Hall. But the whistle blows anyway. But the reason six rebounds, two points. Jordan trying to shoot the balls back into it. Chicago Bulls very much back into it. They're down by 14 after trailing by as many as 23. Although Jordan has been off for Michael Jordan. He's missed his last six shots, three of 12 overall. Scotty Pippen just two for 10 from the field. Five minutes have gone by in the third quarter, and the Sonics lead 61-45. They have led by as many as 23. Bulls with a run here in the third quarter that has been sparked by the shooting of Tony Kuko. The chant of defense. Ball is passed too strong and picked off by Kemp. By 19, Randy Brown just come on for the first time for the ball. This is Brown with it. Kuko for three. And that comes coming into tonight. 
regarding the Sonics with a primarily in a happy just to be here posture. Well, they've answered that with their performance in game four. Payton was held in a count. Foul on, on Foucault. Basket waved off. And Payton will shoot a pair. Well, Scotty Pippen a little bit careless with this dribble. And Gary Payton, they call him the glove so quick. And fouled out at the top of the key. Ruled a clear pass. Up to 35.8 and then 41 a game against the Phoenix Suns. It has been a very quiet night here for Michael, who is back on the floor. Pippen for three. Against the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden, it was Jeff Van Gundy's second game as head coach of the Knicks. And the Knicks beat the Bulls 104-72. It counts and the foul. So Jordan will go to the line. Right here, the Bulls are down by 24 with 7.42 to go in this fourth quarter. Hawkins called for the foul here. Well, a number of times when the ball has gone inside to Michael Jordan, good things happen. Not necessarily which uh, would break that mark of 12 up and one down by the Philadelphia 76ers in 1983, the best run through the playoffs. Jordan, and it's tipped home by Rodman. Peyton Shrimp, the weapons are just lighting everything up. Chicago now just flailing away. Jordan fouled, facing the double team of Hawkins and, and Peyton. Harry Peyton now arguing the call with, with Joe Crawford as he collects his third foul for the game, shooting 57%. They double up on Jordan. Pippen for three. You see the closeout defense by Seattle that time. That's the mark of their... <laughs> oh, boy. After a poor game. Well, he has uh, been hearing it from the crowd that was. This will go to a fifth game on Friday night here in Seattle, starting at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 on the West Coast here on NBC.